Hello and welcome to uh, Munich. Uh, it's uh, the Munich High End Show. This is our roundup of our first day. I'm Alan Serkum, editor of Hi-Fi Plus, and... I'm Robert Harley, editor of The Absolute Sound. Great, and uh, we're just doing a very quick run rundown of what we've seen, a few things that we saw across the day. It's been a really busy day, and uh, yeah, let's just go. Robert, what was your first? Um, the cholesterol. Clarissa speaker that we saw at Expona, the small one, they had the big model here, which was spectacular sounding. So it's based on the Apogee speaker. So the, the guy started the company 11 years ago to modify and service Apogee speakers and decided to uh, make a Apogee clones, but with modern technology. It's a Swiss company and the products are made in uh, Vietnam. And the little speaker sounded fabulous at Expona and the big one here, driven by All Solution, critical mass systems, it was really spectacular sounding. And, uh, well, for my first, I think I'm going to go old school. The new old name Nate, uh, which is a limited edition. Uh, it's, it's the original name Nate was released, I think, in about 1978, and they've cloned it. They've made a, a, a modern version. It's slightly more powerful. It delivers a massive 25 watts per channel as opposed to 15 from before. It's got push buttons on the front, no remote, no nothing. It's a fabulous little device. They're only going to make 1,973 of them because they were established in 1973. It's their 50th anniversary. So the name Nate 50, funnily enough. Over to you. Uh, my first review ever in 1989 was a name Nate 2. So, so when I joined Stereophile in 1989, John Axison gave me three British integrated amps to review my first project, uh, two others and the name. I listened to the two others first, and I'm listening as my first review, I'm really trying hard. And then I listened to the Nate, and it was a completely different experience than the other two. It's like, this was music. So that was my first exposure to name. So it's exciting that they're having a new 50th, uh, yeah. or uh, 50 version of it. Uh, I'm covering speakers at the show. Um, another speaker I thought was fabulous was the uh, MoFi Source Point 8. Andrew Jones designed it's $2750, $2750, and it's a smaller version of the Source Point 10, which was $3900, which we reviewed two issues ago in the Absolute Sound. So it's a concentric design and uh, just a little box, but it sounded really spectacular. Incredibly deep bass for the size and um, pinpoint imaging really great product that just about anybody can afford. And we'll be back. One of the uh, great new launches I saw was the, the new Prodigy from PMC. This is two loudspeakers, which are very much dealing with their studio uh, heritage. They're in many, many studios uh, and, uh, and uh, film studios around the land. Um, and they've put in two models. One's a, a little two-way. Second is a, well, they're both two ways. One's a stand mount and one's a floor stander. Uh, they're using their ATL transmission line. It's just basically in their laminar flow. It's all the, the latest of their technology synthesized down into a very simple loudspeaker. But one that's got some really good, good imaging. It sounds really good. And it's, I think, the, it's £1,200 for the cheaper one and for the stand mount and 1900 for the floor stander in total. Very, very good product. And they should be available in from July. Robert. Uh, another one of my highlights was the Magico S3. That made quite an impression at Expona last month. Everyone who heard it said it was really fabulous. And here it's even better, uh, much, much better. So they recreated Alon Wolf's um, listening room in Hayward, California at the factory, a million dollar room. They created a miniature version of it here with the same designer and everything. It, it took a year to develop, uh, but the S3 sounds really fabulous in there. It's $45,000 a pair, and dollar for dollar is by far the best thing that Magico's ever done. 
staying with, although I'm not doing loudspeakers at this show, staying with loudspeakers with a number with a, an S. Borenson has done the S3 and the S6 loudspeakers. These are uh, basically they're taking what the very expensive Borenson designs has been before and made them quite a bit cheaper. They're quite a bit, uh, they're much more affordable, they're much, they're, they're, they use an awful lot of the similar technologies in, uh, in the bigger speakers, but so they have the, the, the ribbon tweeter and they're kind of array system, but it's a smaller, uh, uh, it's a smaller but not compromised loudspeaker. The S6, which I think is a wonderful loudspeaker, is about 20,000 euros, and it's a, a, a multi-driver, very, very uncompromised, Really, really good loudspeaker. Narrow aspect, like a lot of Borenson speakers, but it's 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 a good one. And another from Robert. Uh, another highlight of the show for me was the T plus A S five forty. It's a brand new design from T plus A. Everyone associates T German Germany's T plus A with electronics, but they actually started as a, man, a loudspeaker manufacturer. I think forty five years ago, forty seven years ago. So the, the uh, founder of the company is really at heart a loudspeaker designer, and he's turned his attention back to loudspeaker design, and they've come up with a really innovative new speaker with a line source ribbon and a row of small oval uh, rib, uh, rib, uh, cone mid-ranges in a line array. So the, the, the forward-facing drivers are a line array, and it's got side-firing woofers. So the top model is the S540. It's $54,000 a pair, and that sounded really wonderful. And I'm scheduled to get those for review in about six weeks, so I'm looking forward to hearing them after hearing them sound so good here at the show. And, and I suppose finally, uh, and I'm trying not to stay just on the British side of things here, but uh, the, uh, I gotta say the Lin 360, which, which we got in for review recently, I think it's sounding really good here. I don't know what, what, you, what you feel. Yeah, that was my first experience with it, and I'm looking at my notes here. Uh, gorgeous piano timbre. Dynamics, tone, yeah. decay. It, piano was really beautiful sounding on it. Uh, on the muddy waters, you could hear the air of the studio. Yeah. Uh, with the leakage in the microphones, it had that sense of live presence. Um, beautiful timbre, big sound stage. Um, uh, excellent bass extension and impact, yeah. and it was it played surprisingly big for its uh, yeah. enclosure size. I, I think um, I was speaking to them and they said uh, uh, when I heard them initially, I, I played a track uh, which they then inherited, and they said, "Well, we're using that everywhere." And they said they couldn't play it here because there was so much bass that it was setting off the room. But they've managed to really exercise a lot of a lot of. I managed to exercise a lot of Lin ghosts. There are certain things that I think Lin did really well with its loudspeakers. Always did. They were always very, uh, very beaty and pacey and had a lot of uh, a lot of rhythm to them. But if we're being honest, they didn't. They weren't the most accurate, and they also weren't the most. Uh, they they didn't do imaging before, and this is one of the ones that they've got better and better over the years. I've been listening to Lin speakers for years, but these this is a real step change for them. I think they've got a really powerful good imaging section it sounds very you know it's very open in the mid range it's very much more a high end loudspeaker than they've i think they've ever they've ever done now it is a fully active system so it it's really designed to work with their DSP system with their with their streamer but i think it's a bit of a, a game changer for them and yeah i think it's really good and with that i suppose we should uh, look to some things for tomorrow. We've just got to save up some more stuff. So, uh, yeah, thanks, Robert. All right, yeah, there's plenty more to see tomorrow at the show. It's a huge Absolutely. show. Absolutely. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye for now.